people, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a 6 by 12 layout and I apologize in advance. I do skip forward just a little bit because I was having some issues with my camera turning on and off and I did not realize that it had turned off. Um, so what I'm doing here is I have these tags from the Coco Daisy Simon and Betty kit and that is the collection that I'm using. And they um, are lyrics to that song. Um, I don't know. It might be called Friday I'm in Love. I'm not sure. Um, but it says, I don't care if Monday's blue, Tuesday's gray, and Wednesday too. Thursday, I don't care about you. It's Friday I'm in Love. Um, and this layout is a photo of Patrick and I, obviously. And it's actually going to talk about how we make our own Fridays, which um, involves playing hooky. But here in East Tennessee, um, January, February, March, you get these like random beautiful days in the middle of rainy, cold hell. And <laughs> this day in February was nearly 70 degrees and sunny. And if you've ever been in East Tennessee in February, you will know that it rains nearly every day. And if it's not raining, then it's freaking cold. So we wanted to get out on the motorcycle um, for this beautiful sunshiny day. And I think it was like a Thursday, maybe a Tuesday. It doesn't even matter. It was not a weekend. Um, but my husband took a sick day and we went and played in the Smoky Mountains and it was a beautiful, absolutely stunning day, especially since, um, if you follow my channel at all this last six months, um, you'll know that I was struggling really big over Christmas and with, um, in the winter time and I believe that based on the way that I felt on this day um, I might have been suffering from some seasonal affective disorder affecting my mood um, so co getting out in the sunshine and enjoying this beautiful gift of a day in the beginning of February was just amazing and it made me feel so awesome so I have a lot of photos coming up because it was in fact a gorgeous day so I took a lot of photos um, this is the first photo in a series that I will be scrapbooking so this is going to be I wanted to use these tags really bad and I didn't know exactly what to do with them so I decided that I was going to use them all together because of course you have to use them all together but I chose to do it on a 6 by 12 layout which was just silly but I actually make it work so I'm really proud of myself for getting all of these tags on a 6 by 12 layout. So what I was initially planning um, which doesn't go quite according to plan is I was going to um, put them all down the side of this 6x12 vertically just like they're laid out right now but I had like this the thing is is that Coco Daisy doesn't do full page kits anymore like 12x12 12 12 page kits so the biggest paper that I have from this collection is a 6x8 so I didn't want the um, I didn't want the white background with the white tag, so I decided to cut these papers into strips, um, six inches wide by one inch tall, and create my own strippy sort of background um, to put all of these white tags on. Because I was going to have this big row of white tags, this vertical column of white tags, and it was going to really, the plan was it was going to really break up all of this um, massive amount of color. That is not how this page ended up getting laid out. And unfortunately, um, once I get the start putting the strips down is when my camera cut out. So when I notice that the camera cut out, um, I had already gotten all the strips down and decided how I was going to lay out the tags, which actually saved you a whole lot of hemming and hawing on video and watching me move things around but you don't get to see the final decision being made, but you do get to see the final um, placement of them before I start putting anything else down. I did catch fairly quickly that the camera had turned off, stupid camera. I cut this paper the wrong direction. So now this, <laughs> this strip at the top isn't quite six inches. Some of these aren't quite six inches wide, um, but it ends up not being too noticeable the way that I end up getting these 
tags in this photo um, glued down. So I'm going to put them all down in a sort of um, pattern here. So I have yellow, then stripe, then red, and voila, <laughs> we've skipped forward. <laughs> but you see how it ended up. Um, so I have the the tag sort of cascading down instead of um, having them vertically um, layered the way that I had them before. I really liked the way that this broke up the um, the tags and all of that extra white space, but also it kind of reminds me of music notes, like the way that sh sheet music, the way that the notes cascade um, on the bars. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> so now I have all of these embellishments that I've pulled out. And I'm going to try and start incorporating some more embellishment because, you know, this page needs way more going on. <laughs> if I had known that this was the way that I was going to lay everything out when I started, I probably would have done something different in the background because it does get a bit busy. I like busy. Busy makes me happy, but sometimes busy can be a little bit too much too. So this, um, this kind of walks the line between whoa and oh that's cute <laughs> so i was going to use these labels as journaling and i was like yeah no that's not gonna work <laughs> i will make something else work for my journaling i am gonna end up journaling right there on those tags but the way that it is offset at the moment uh, it looks awkward to me and i didn't know what to do so I'm just kind of trying to add to this without making it too not so. I'm gonna add some more of these cute puffy hearts. So <laughs> here's the decision I made that would have negated the need for the strips in the background. I'm going to punch out a bunch of hearts from this um, these pattern papers that I have sitting here and they're really adorable it's fun it's quirky there's a lot going on um, but it adds a lot more pattern to the page too and uh, I probably could have done without all of the pattern in the background and the pattern in the hearts but you know what I am embracing it and I like it <laughs> but if you were to uh, think that this was too much but you really liked the design of the page maybe take the strips out in the background and use a solid color instead or use solid color hearts I'm not sure this I decided to punch out some hearts because honestly I'm at the end of the Simon and Betty kit and I don't have a lot of um, embellishment left to work with I thought maybe flowers would be good here but I didn't have any flowers so hearts, patterned hearts it is, and it actually came out cute, so I'm okay with it. Very cute. I'm going to start putting these down. I like the way that I can add some of the pattern to places where it wasn't um, laid down in the background too. So like I can add that yellow up at the top there, which makes it look a little less blocky as well. That's kind of what I was thinking when I was laying down these hearts was making sure that the patterns I was using was not, they were not overlapping where the patterns were used in the background as well. All these cute hearts. <laughs> and I'm getting close to done here. I'm going to add another something, something. We need another conversation heart. <laughs> Why not? Then I'm going to add in some journaling as well and probably call it good. You can't, there's nothing that can't be saved with a whole mess of hearts, right? <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And if you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. My handle is at Tracy M. Reed, and I would love to be besties over there as well. I'm going to add in some journaling and call this layout golden. All right. Thank you.